right, how's everybody doing? Welcome to the Mark Shapiro Music Channel. Here today we are definitely going to be doing something different. We are going to be talking about the nylon string guitar. I was just playing the um, Johann Sebastian Bach's Bore in E minor and uh, I got hit to that through uh, Jethro Tull back in the day. They did a kind of a swinging version of it. <laughs> I was kind of playing more of a traditional version. Um, and remember, Bach was dance music back in the day. So hopefully, if you were going... Hopefully, they were dancing to that. So that was, that was the thing. So it had to be up-tempo, it had to be brisk, and it had to be danceable. A lot different from the dance music of today, that's for sure. But getting back to the nylon string, the nylon string, you can play classical music, you can play more of like the Brazilian kind of music, Girl from Ipanema and such. There's that, you can do a little bit of um, flamenco. First of all, out here on the West Coast, a lot of times we're called upon to do a lot of different things on a particular gig. Um, I might have to play a classical song on a, for a part of a program, and then play like a Brazilian thing, and then go play a rock thing, all in the same show. But being a primarily a rock player, playing with a pick, it took a minute to become comfortable with the fingers. So I want to address that for my students, friends, just guitarists in general that are maybe intimidated by the nylon string or want to expand their horizons. So uh, one thing you can do is get the uh, Mario Giuliani's 120 studies for the right hand. Um, it's public domain so you can find it on Google or if I can figure out how to put a link on this channel um, then I'll get it up there but I highly recommend that and um, I'm gonna walk through um, one of the exercises right now so you can see kinda how to benefit from that once again the slower you practice the faster you get better so once again the nylon string guitar using our fingers alright so let's talk about how we can practice these right hand studies once you get a hold of them. So this right here is what's called a metronome. And if you don't have a metronome, your phone has one or you can get one for cheap or for very little. But this is one of the most valuable tools for a musician. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the metronome for 69 because that's a great tempo to learn. And in order to learn, what we want to do is we want to practice slow and then double time it as soon as we are able. Let's talk about how to practice one of these exercises and what electric players can do to familiarize their self with the nylon string guitar and playing with their fingers. So the first exercise goes like this. It goes C. And then it goes to a G7 chord over B. So what I'm doing is it's these three strings with the thumb moving down with the bass moving around. So we turn our metronome on here. And so we're going to start by playing these triplet patterns on the B. Okay, ready, go. So if that's too fast, 
then slow it down. But get it to where you can play this real nice and even. And then what we want to do, say we're playing at this tempo and it's starting to feel comfortable. So we're, by the way, this is exercise number two, not number one. <laughs> we'll go back to number one in a second real briefly. So I'm just kind of going there. I'm starting to feel relaxed, making sure my shoulders are relaxed, making sure everything's relaxed and lined up. And then, See how I'm going back and forth? Back to the quarter notes. Double it up now. So, if you can get through I've noticed that doing each line four times is kind of key because a lot of times we get through it the first time, we're like, oh, okay, oh yeah, I'm starting to get it. Second time, oh, okay, yeah. Third time is where you usually make a mistake. And then it takes the fourth time to get it right. And for me, of course, I would just do the whole thing again four times. But even if you do it once, twice, pick one of these exercises um, you can always contact me directly if you wanted to, you know, further study this in a, in a lesson environment or something, either online or in person. But it's a great thing for my buddies and guitarists out there in general who are mainly electric players but do want to branch into the nylon string because it's just a, a beautiful thing. The other thing that I wanted to mention too, if you play with a pick, do the same exercise, but with a pick and fingers. So you go. So once again, the slower you play, the harder it is. But the slower you practice, the faster you get better. So I encourage everyone to go check out Bach, the Beret in E minor, Giuliani, 120 studies for the right hand. Get yourself a nylon string guitar and you will have a lot of good fun. All right, thank you for joining us. See you next time on the Mark Shapiro Music Channel.